Hi, today I'd like to introduce you to Magpie Glitters from Magpie Beauty. In the range of 40 glitters, there are standard glitters, which are a simple foil effect, iridescent glitters, which are semi-transparent so they show through the colour underneath, but catch the lighter range of colours, holographic glitters, which are a solid foil glitter, but in the light they shine like a rainbow, and finally multi-glitters, which can be a mixture of the three previous. I'm going to be showing you each of these colours over a complementary gel polish colour just to really help them show up. Starting with the standard glitters, we have Maria, Edie and Sidoni. Maria is a lovely soft baby pink, Edie is a mid rosebud sort of pink and Sidoni is a wonderful vibrant fuchsia. The next three standard glitters are Ruby, Rosie and Penny. Ruby is a typical ruby red and very beautiful as you can see here. Rosie is a soft dusky pink and Penny is a beautiful copper. Next we have Kate, Penny and Margot. Kate is a very rich Pacific blue. Peggy is a dusky dark teal and Margot is an incredibly intense jeweled amethyst. Our final four standard glitters are Willow, Grace, Goldie and Sylvia. Willow is a wonderful jade green. Grace is a perfectly classy taupe. Goldie is more unusual as it's a mix of different sized glitters in the same colour so it gives a beautiful textured effect. And Sylvia is a wonderful bright silver. Now I'm going to show you my favourites which are the holographic collection and I'm starting with Lulu, Livy and Erin. Lulu is a wonderful cerise holographic pink, Livy is like a candy lilac and Erin is the most sensational dusky pink shade that the camera just doesn't do justice to. To try and show you just how beautiful these colours are I've turned off my harsh studio lighting and just shown them underneath the camera light and look at the sparkle it's amazing. Continuing with the holographics we have Mabel, Violet and Emily. Mabel is a really intense holographic jeweled purple. Violet is midway between a heather and a mid lilac and Emily is a beautiful soft ice blue. And just to show you more natural light here you can see how beautifully these sparkle. Our next three holographics are Ebony, Kiki and Ariel. Ebony isn't really a true holographic but I felt it fit best in this category. Kiki is a wonderful mid-teal and Ariel is a perfect sea green just like the mermaid. With the studio lights off you can see how beautifully these capture the light. In particular Ebony, how many different colours show up in it. Final three holographic glitters are Pippa, Jules and Lola. Pippa is a very, very dark black brown and it's a multi-sized glitter so it's smaller and larger flakes. Jules is a beautiful yellow gold and Lola is a perfect holographic silver. When you place these colours under natural light you see how fantastic they really are. Lola is the most amazing silver holographic where you can almost see the actual halo as you move the nails around. And then Pippa just completely comes into its own with the vibrancy of the different sized flakes of holographic glitter. Now we move on to our iridescent glitters and first I have Darcy, Eve and Lucy. Now Darcy is a really beautiful coral, Eve is quite a vibrant satsuma and Lucy is a pure yellow neon. Now I've applied this over a softer yellow to tone down the colour but if you wanted that true neon vibrancy I'd apply it over a neon polish. Now we have Dolly, Elsa and Belle. Dolly is a beautiful violet. Elsa is a wonderful sky blue, very frosty sort of iridescent. And Belle is just the perfect Tinkerpearl glitter, which is like a spring green. I've applied it over a peppermint here just to show you how beautifully it can mix. Now we have Jess, Lottie and Cindy. Jess is a wonderful red orange. Lottie is a beautifully deep salmon pink and Cindy is the perfect vibrant Barbie pink which actually shimmers blue in the light. 
Our final three iridescent glitters are Pearl, Lily and Pixie. Now Pearl and Lily are by far I think my most favourite and the most used in the salon. Pearl is a mixture of different pinks. Lily is the most amazing white glitter that I've ever come across that actually looks like mother of pearl under the light. As you can see, it shines blues and pinks. Pixie was my only disappointment in the 40 glitters, only because it does shine a beautiful violet in the light, but when applied to a white nail, it does take on a slightly yellow tone. But to be honest, when you have a white on offer like Lily, it wouldn't really bother me. Finally, we move on to our multi-glitters. These are Polly, Patsy and Flo. These are a mixture of different colours and different types of glitter. So in Polly, we can see we've got teals, blues and purples with a dash of holographic. Patsy is more pinks, purples and a little touch of blue and green in there. Again, some holographic. And Flo is a really playful mix of different pinks. And when I turn off the harsh studio lighting, you can see just where that holographic really comes to life in these three. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction into the Magpie Glitters. I will be reviewing some more of the Magpie products soon. In the meantime, if you'd like to take a look at my blog, it's available at natashalee.info. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.